What is up and welcome to NXT. That's right, we are going with this one here. Another episode of NXT, another great show. And, and I just, we're going to run down the match card real quick for you before we start anything going off, going crazy. Last week we did three matches, I think, from what I believe. Yes, because it was the opening NXT start. Uh, there's nine matches here, but we're going to only do two of them. Um, I'll tell you which ones those will be. Uh, this is a six-man, six-man tag team matchup right here as a new makeshift team of JD McDonald and Ilga Dragonoff and Charlie Dempsey take on the Creed Brothers and then Nathan Frazier. Remember last week, uh, this makeshift team got a victory over the Creed Brothers and Frazier and Dempsey went to war in their battle. We'll also see the tag team championships on the line when Toxic Attraction, yes, Toxic Attraction again, they feuded. Mandy Rose is gone. Mandy Rose is back. She's the women's champion and Toxic Attraction. That's why you stay toxic. That's how you do it. Yes, you've had your enemy right as your tag team partner, but hey, stay toxic. That's the way you do it. As Toxic Attack Attraction will take on Caden Carter and Katana Chance for the NXT Women's Tag Team Championships. We'll also see a number one contendership matchup for the NXT North American Championship. Who will face Wesley? T-Bar last week picked up a win over the champion. He believes he is the sole number one contender. But uh, Shawn Michaels and the group back in NXT believe, hey, Dragon Lee has a chance. He's new. Let's give him a chance. Let's see what he could do. And Axiom is also there as well. Let's try him as well. And then the tag team matchup, the North American champion will team up with Cameron Grimes against Tony D'Angelo and the family. Uh, Channing Lorenzo on the side right there will have that going with them. But the question is, is very simple is why, Wesley? Why, why are you fighting this matchup? Get someone else in there. Come on. Apollo Crews will take on Malik Blake. Uh, this is uh, Malik Blade wanting to show off, and Edris uh, will be right behind him on his sideline. But Apollo Crew says, "Hey, look, I'm I'm here to make better of myself. So let's just let's just do this in a mixed tag team matchup because we're gonna start the mixed match challenge tomorrow with the next episode of Universe Mode. It will be Grayson Waller and Tiffany Stratton against Tyler Bate and Nikita Lyons. This is a that's a fun one. We maybe might do, might not do. We'll see which one we do." Uh, then a six-woman triple threat tornado tag team matchup. Big matchup right here. Definitely uh, a chance for Isla Dawn and Alba Frey to put themselves back at the top and get themselves into the tag team championship picture. Uh, Roxanne Perez and Indy Hartwell. Definitely two women who want to be back in the women's championship discussion. Roxanne wants to get a title shot again. You know, the one thing about losing your title is you pretty much go to the back of the line but Roxanne will try to find her way there and Indy Hartwell wants to get that NXT Women's Championship around her waist and Zoe Stark and Tatum Paxley two women as well that want to be in the championship discussion as well and then Alexander Hammerstone makes his uh his presence felt against Shanky as Hammerstone alongside uh Joe Gacy will have his side there and they will go one-on-one -on -one, Hammerstone and Shanky and the main event will be a six-man tornado tag yes i love the six-man tag matches i love it i love it it's a big uh, thing of mine but we know we will see braun breaker carmelo hayes one last time compete against each other they fought each other in the last man standing matchup last week but at backlash wrestlemania backlash they will open the show as it will be breaker it will be hayes competing for the nxt championship once and for all, that's it. Brooks Jensen and Josh Briggs will join Braun Breaker. Carmelo Hayes has Trick Williams and Odyssey Jones. This is going to be a heck of a main event. Uh, definitely want to keep yourself preserved, but in a tornado tag match, you're in the match, no matter what. So let's go right off the bat. Let's see who wins this one here. Will that makeshift team be able to get it again? And a win again for JD McDonald. And Ilga Dragunov and Charlie Dempsey here. Is is there a chance that the Creed brothers might not be able to get over the hump that this new makeshift team is? Maybe they are the future of tag team wrestling here in NXT. In, uh, in Dragunov and JD. Now we're going to do the Women's Tag Team Championships up next because it's the Women's Tag Team Championships. Well, why not do that? The 
Toxic Attraction still stepping up into their uh, their roles again. Shawn Michaels, hey, look, you guys were women's tag team champions before. I'll give you guys another chance. I'll give you another chance to do it. But they still don't trust each other enough to, to ride alongside each other here. And I don't know if that's going to to fed farewell for you. That's my thing. I don't know if it's going to work not being next to your partner. I feel like you should be next to your partner if you're going to get a win here. Wait, wait, hey, what do I know, you know? What do I know? I'm not a champion. I'm just a commentator here on YouTube. As Gigi makes her way into the ring, well, now we will see her tag team partner, who also does the same thing. JC Jane, again, two women who did have themselves quite the feud and didn't really, didn't end pleasantly. But Mandy Rose is back, and Mandy Rose is trying to put them back together and tell them, hey, we're going to make this freaking work. It's going to work somehow. That's what it is all about. JCJ making her way into the ring. Chance for NXT, NXT, NXT. The tag team champions here comes Kaden Carter. It's going to be a tough one for her to, to lose. If she loses that tag team championship, the hard work that she's done to be somebody here in NXT, and it could be all lost. Could all be lost here. As the women's tag team championships have been uh, a topic of discussion, whether or not they are needed, whether or not they are wanted here, but with the roster that we have, they are must haves. Uh, to have more because if not you you only have one championship to go for this woman's championship right here means the world to uh katana chance and kaden carter introducing the challengers gg dolan and jc J. toxic attraction mandy rose the nxt women's champion is next to them outside watching their girls team champions kaden carter Kaden Carter and Katana Chance putting those belts on the line, putting those championships. And they know this is a tough challenge. This is a, a team that, that, that with Mandy Rose on their side becomes even more dangerous. Now, Mandy Rose willing to do whatever it takes to win, to get that championship on her side. As here we go. It's Gigi Dolan to start off against Kaden Carter. The kick. Oh, they both were thinking something big there. And now backstab, backcracker there. And a takedown there as Gigi Dolan has started the on the attack here. And Caden Carter right now is in trouble. This is NXT, folks. This is a night of a championship defense here, just like last week. Last week, we had two title bouts tonight. We got one big title bout tonight. We have a chance to determine a number one contender later tonight when... Uh, we have a triple threat matchup for the North American Championships number one contendership spot. And I can't wait to see what happens there. And a big time sidekick there. This Gigi Dolan is taking control here. And now I think the thing I'm looking for most is to see how uh, these two former friends, former rivals, I guess, but they're kind of still rivals and in a sense, cooperate in uh, Gigi Dolan and JC Jane. And Gigi is telling her she's outside. She can't do nothing about it. And oh, here comes Kaden. Kaden coming back in with the slot. And she's coming in with a fight. And she's coming in. Oh, she thought she had something there. And a kick to the side of the head. And Gigi's telling all the tat well, telling one half of the champs. Like, that's your partner right there. She's getting demolished. And now the tag in now to JC Jane. And this is interesting. They're both working pretty well right here with each other. And again, it's that chemistry that you have with someone. Yes, it could go all off the rails and really bad. But it's still there. That that cooperation ship is still there. And that doll, oh, that's a code breaker there from 
from JC, and JC's throwing her back into the ring, and the ref's like, come on, you gotta bring her into it. And Toxic Attraction understands that, understands that you're not winning the championships outside. It only benefits uh, the tag team champions if that fight continues on the outside. And right now, this is not looking well for the champions. They are uh, they are not in the wheelhouse. They are not in control of this matchup. And there's Caden fighting back, and Caden coming into it. Caden now going high risk. Caden Carter is going to take a chance, and she nailed it. And she's feeling something in their in their bones right here. Maybe that's the moment you need to have a comeback opportunity. Oh, and here comes J.C. Jane, and she's down. Now, Katana Chance stepping into it, into the moment here. And, whoo, there we go. And you wanted to make that tag into your partner so they could do what they knew you to do to bring you back and bring some momentum onto the squad. Katana doing a lot of talking right now. And she needs to figure that you got to bring the momentum in. Yes, you, you got the tag in. You got the hot tag in. And you're back into it. And getting rid of of Gigi Dolan's a smart thing. Don't allow any tags, any anything like that. Don't allow anything to happen. And a Katana Chance is gonna take a moment to get it there. And Mandy Rose is telling your partner, her or her fellow Toxic Attraction member, that's how we do it. And oh, it's Katana going Katana. Katana's gonna go high risk. Katana just risked the whole body there. And she got some of it. She got, not all of it, it wasn't pretty, but she got some of it. And now Katana removing JC out there. And Mandy Rose is telling the ref, I'm not doing nothing. Keep an eye on the fight. And took the legs out of Gigi Dolan. And a big time side kick there from Jane. And now Jane throwing Chance back into the ring. And where is Jane going? Jane's going high risk. Oh, full body right there. Big splash. Katana Chance. And a, cha a save there from Carter. Spinning forearm that could have laid her out there. And JC Jane says, I'm going for it. JC's going for it, but a kick out there. Again, got to do a little bit more work on the champions. The champions don't go down so easy. Counter there. Counter there, Chance. Chance, whoa. Face first down. Grabs you from the feet like that and puts you down. As Gigi wants to tag in, but Chance is not allowing that at all. And now drop kick. A drop kick there. A down Jane. And what is she thinking here? Oh, what is that? Again. The mind is always churning with some big move. And a kick out though by Jane. As Katana thought she had that one. I think the NXT crowd here too. We're thinking we're gonna have to have new tag team. Uh, we're gonna have the tag team champions hold the titles again, and what a blow that would be to ta Toxic Attraction. Went for the legs. Good job there. As Caden's gonna take a chance up high, risk it all. Oh, elbow to the back. Kick to the side of the head there, and right now J.C. Jane is in a lot of trouble. Oh, she's rolling to the outside. But I think what she needs to realize is that Caden Carter is not afraid to take a chance. And that's what made them tag team champions. They're not afraid to go for the moment. They're not afraid to get that big move. They're not afraid to take chances like that, risk their body, and, and get a win here. And now, it's, it is Carter now. Carter putting the leg down. What is this? this is a submission right here with dragging the legs here. This is a twist of it all. Oh. And look at the submission. It's on and there's no way. Oh, but that's saved by Gigi Dolan. It's Gigi saving the match for her team. Oh, counter there. JC Jane. Oh, big sp Oh, that was a big hit. And oh! Did she just get her with that? And there was a rope break, Ralph! Toxic Attraction! Gigi Dolan and JC Jane. I'm, in, I'm in disbelief because there was a rope break. There was a rope break there. Toxic Attraction have regained the Tag Team Championships, but there was a rope break.
There was a rope break grab. Come on. You just screwed over. Why? That just doesn't sit right with me. Toxic Attraction will be walking out of here with the Tag Team Championships. Chance and Carter are thinking to themselves, what? Carter's telling the ref, I had it. I had the rope breaks. It's not that hard. The rope breaks have become one of the biggest things in 2K23 here. I swear. I swear. I swear to you. The rope breaks made the biggest difference there. Uh, as we are reeling from that, we got new tag team champions. Toxic Attractions back at the top of the game in NXT. Now, let's go to the next one. Triple threat matchup. Who becomes the number one contender for the North American Championship? It is Dragon Lee. Dragon Lee. I don't know if T-Bar likes the results of that, but Dragon Lee will be facing Wes Lee for the North American Championship. We don't know when, but Shawn Michaels, the sexy boy, will figure that out for us. The tag team matchup. Wesley now knows who his uh, future challenger will be. Let's see how he takes it in this matchup. And Cameron Grimes and Wesley with a victory. Apollo Crews against Malik Blake. Malik Blake hoping for the big upset here. And it will be Malik Blake with the upset telling Apollo Crews, hey, you gotta, yeah, yeah, you wanted to talk, you wanted to talk, you wanted to speak. That's what you get now. A win for Malik Blake. Big win for him. And now in the mixed tag team matchup, Grayson Waller, Tiffany Stratton, Tyler Bate, Nikita Lyons. I kind of want to do that one instead of this one. Or not, but we'll go from there. No, we got to put the NXT champion on the thing. All right, so we will simulate this one as the mixed match challenge will start tomorrow for Universe Mode, which will be the next episode of Universe Mode. Uh, we are going to see who gets this one. Grayson Waller with the win for his team as Waller and Stratton pick up the win. They beat Tyler Bates and Nikita Lyons in this triple threat tornado tag team matchup. Let's see who gets the win. It is the former NXT champion and Indy Hartwell picking up a win here. And that's a big win for them. Uh, Shawn Michaels definitely watched this one and definitely says, hey, that's moving up in the, in, the, in the charts. That's moving to get you back to your women's championship. And for Indy Hartwell, that's a chance for you to get a chance to face Mandy Rose in the future if you keep winning matches. And now Alexander Hammerstone, Hammerstone against Shanky. It's a win. It's a win for Hammerstone as he has debuted here in NXT with the victory over Shanky. The help of Joe Gacy will definitely do a lot of things. And now we go to the main event of tonight. It is Braun Breaker, Jensen, and Briggs against Trick Williams, Carmelo Hayes, and Odyssey Jones. What will be the strategy for both uh, Breaker and Melo Hayes after a last man standing match last week? The fact that they're both still standing here about to compete. And on Sunday in the premium live event, WrestleMania Backlash, they're going to open the show with the NXT Championship on the line. Braun Breaker has not named or said what the match type will be, but he says it'll happen at Backlash. You'll figure it out. It'll be said hours before Backlash starts. And it's champion advantage. And the man that has that dog in him is out there. Braun Breaker walks down to the ring, walks down the ring ever so confident, especially after his win last week. Told Melo Hayes, look, the last time we're going to face each other, the last time we're ever going to compete for this championship, even if I lose, that's it, we're not having a rematch. The last time we compete for it, it should be under my terms. It should be under whatever kind of match I want. The rumors have been saying it could be a dog collar match. It could be a cage match. Hell, it could be a loser leaves NXT matchup. To put it once and forever gone. As here comes this squad here. 
of Brooks, Briggs, and Walker. Yes, Walker's not here tonight, but still, this is a squad that uh, believes they are in tag team championship contention. They are in the picture of the big belts, of the big NXT title belts. And a man that says that he is he. And he does not miss when he shoots. He might have missed last week. And it happens to everybody. It happens to everyone. But next, uh, this uh, Sunday at the Premium Live event, WrestleMania Backlash, the big audience, the big moment. We'll see if Carmelo can truly live up to that or if this moniker of his is dead now. If Breaker just has his number. We will see what happens, and then whatever stipulation the match is, whatever match type it is. Carmelo Hayes says, I just needed one more. I just needed one more move, and I feel like I could have put him down. And uh, lucky for him, Breaker says, hey, I'm a fighting champion. I don't care. I'll go for it. And I teaming up with Trick Williams, a man that he knows very well. Trick Williams definitely watching and thinking to himself, this is my guy. This is my, my man, my friend. I got this back in no matter what. Trick Williams walking down to the ring here. This is the main event of NXT tonight. Next week, we know the North American Championship will be on the line when Wesley defends his championship against Dragon Lee. And a man that has been scouted. He's been scouted. Odyssey Jones has been scouted by... Uh, Austin Theory Austin Theory's been looking at him telling him huh I got my guy I got Bronson Reed not happy Corbin he's not working very well but I got Bronson Reed alongside me why not have another big man like this guy next to him what a squad that would be you can get him alongside him But right now, Odyssey Jones was selected by uh, Carmelo Hayes. And look at this. These are big boys about to go at it. About to eat. And Melo Hayes is in trouble right now. He's about to get Alabama slammed. Odyssey Jones going after the NXT champion. Now the big boys are going after each other here. And, and Odyssey Jones lifting up. And now pinfall. Trick Williams trying to get this matchup over and done with. Trying to help out Carmelo uh, just in case. But Melo Hayes is telling Braun Breaker, I got the better of him. And no, no. Pinfall here. Pinfall now. Braun Breaker breaking out anything he needs to bring. It's Breaker knocking out Hayes. And again, this is no chances for rest. You are continuously going at it. There is no moments to stop and think. And oh, Carmelo was going after. After someone out of nowhere, Braun Breaker just tells him, I'm going to tackle you down. And Odyssey Jones laid down there by Breaker. Breaker going for a pinfall. Trick Williams trying to break up the pin, but he couldn't. He couldn't, as now Carmelo is just watching from the outside. It's Josh Briggs and Braun Breaker and Brooks Jensen are, are thinking, we can win this. We can win this. Look at the way he runs outside the ring. Look at that. Just showing off there. Odyssey Jones tossing the NXT champion out. Josh Briggs getting laid into him right now. And now there's Brooks Jensen to back him up and takes uh, throws Trick Williams around. Carmelo Hayes. Look at the strength to lay down Josh Briggs there. From Carmelo Hayes. He is he. He is the one right now. Showing you what he can do. It's Trick Williams. And and Hayes are taking down Jensen and Briggs. And look at Carmelo Hayes. But look at Odyssey Jones. That's the NXT champion right there. Being lifted like, like, like nothing there. Oh, Jones dropping him down. This team here of Hayes, Trick Williams. And Jones are, are doing work. And oh, but there it is. Look at Josh Briggs not allowing Odyssey Jones to do anything. Now he wants to show him what true power is. 
Spawn Breaker stepping into the ring. Pinfall by Trick Williams. Carmelo Hayes blocks that one. But a kick out there by Brooks Jensen. As Trick Williams was trying to get the win for his team there. And Carmelo was like, that's fine with me. Melo Hayes laying down. And he shot it. And look at that. He says, that, that's all money right there. That's all money. As Brooks Jensen is trying to go after Carmelo. Oh, Carmelo Hayes says, I'm going to fly outside of the ring before this boy comes and gets me. Melo Hayes is he. Look, and I really hope that he gets a chance at WrestleMania Backlash to... to to scratch off everything from last week. He should have won it last week. Yes, he was a move away here and there. Braun Breaker figured out that he got to play a dirty a little bit of time if you want to keep that title belt. But right now, Mello. What is Mello with that DDT? So nice, so crisp. Ow! But look at. Oh, come on. Josh Briggs is right there to break. Oh, oh no, no, no. Oh, look at this power slam. The power again. He just threw him down. But Trick Williams is there to try to get the back of. Of Mello and Mello right there waiting. No, oh, he's just pushing his back there. But Odyssey Jones is getting laid out on the outside. And there's Mello telling the bigger Josh Briggs, hey, I don't care how much your height is. I don't care what you are, man. I, I will take you down. And Trick Williams is there, though. That's having your guys back. And a clothesline there. And Trick Williams says, I'm going for the pinfall. Watch my back. And a one count, though, as Josh Briggs says, that's not happening. Brooks Jensen getting laid out. Laid out by the man known as Carmelo Hayes. And look at Braun Breaker trying to break the pin there. And a kick out though by uh, Josh Briggs. As now Braun Breaker taking it to his challenger this Sunday. Going to be competing at WrestleMania Backlash. And it definitely will be a hell of a match for that NXT Championship as we saw last week. And whatever condition that, uh, or whatever type of match that Braun Breaker uses, that will be interesting to see too what happens. The rumors are out there, but we'll see what the actual choice will be at WrestleMania Backlash for the NXT Championship. It's very cool of uh, Adam Pearce and the WWE brass to allow NXT to have a match at Backlash, at WrestleMania Backlash, uh, to get to get the eyes on the product, to get the people watching, to get the people knowing what NXT is all about, what the future of the WWE will be. And there is a, is a suplex there. There it is. Oh, Odyssey Jones trying to beat the NXT Champion. And again, Odyssey Jones, I talked to him before the match. I told him, hey, what do you think of Austin Theory saying he's been watching you, keeping his eye on you, and wants to put the pressure on you of, of knowing that you're being watched, that you're being observed, that you are the guy that he wants to have in his super stable that he is creating, that stable that he says will be greater than the Shield. He says, look, it's, it's nice and whatnot. I'm still just focusing on becoming better, on becoming more craft in the ring, and if Austin Theory wants to call me up, call me up then. Pay me well, we'll talk about it. And we'll go from there. But I really don't care. I really don't care. If this is the that man can pay me well and teach me things I need to learn and how to succeed in WWE, fine, I'll take it. And there is a Steiner recliner. Steiner recliner on on Odyssey Jones. And what a win this would be. Trick Williams is trying to help him out. But there is there is saving grace there in Brooks Jensen. Where's Mello? But look at Odyssey. He, there's a pinfall. But the ref focus on the... And there's a save. Oh, no, no. Odyssey Jones says, I'm going to save myself. Somebody save Trick Williams. Some, oh, Trick Williams kicks it out. Saves himself on that one. It would have been a, like a five count there. But the ref was... Uh, the ref was watching the submission. Watching and waiting. Pinfall by Odyssey Jones. A kick out there by Josh Briggs. And a big time disaster kick by Trick Williams. To Braun Breaker and Mello back in the ring. Odyssey Jones with a swing and a swing and punch to the NXT champion. And now he wants to make him pay for putting him in that sign of recliner. What is Mello Hayes doing to Josh Briggs here? Big splash by Odyssey Jones. And a big, oh, trying to come in with something there. Odyssey Jones stopping and there. Trick Williams laying into the champ. And oh my God, that's sheer power of Odyssey Jones. He just picked him up while he was down. To put a body slam. And Mello Hayes says, I'm going to shoot my shot here. And Mello Hayes, as Odyssey Jones is delivering. Oh, Mello in the background. Lays into him with that leg drop. Pow. Brooks. Jensen. Laid up. This is all out chaos here. And the days. Oh, but the save there to save Trick and Mello. And Odyssey Jones is going for the pinfall. The NXT champion. And Odyssey Jones. With the help of Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams has beaten Braun Breaker and his squad. And Mello Hayes telling Odyssey Jones, 
That's what I like to do. I like to set up my people, my team, to get the win. It's Odyssey Jones might have just made a big moment, a big man, a big moment happen there. We know at WrestleMania Backlash we will get Melo Hayes against Braun Breaker for the NXT Championship. What the condition will be, who knows? Are we seeing Carmelo Hayes here possibly for the last time in NXT and Trick Williams, or? Or, or will we still see him next week? We don't know what will happen. Odyssey Jones got the pinfall on the champion. Somewhere Austin Theory is watching and realizing that's why I chose him. That's why I'm keeping my eye on, eye on him. What a win. What an NXT. Next time we come to you with Universe Mode, it will be the Mixed Match Challenge. I've been announcing you the teams. You're going to have to watch and see what the teams are, and I will go with that. Thank you for watching NXT. Leave a comment, subscribe, like, all that good stuff.